Megan's disgusting duality is once again shown. Harry is chess piece on her dangerous plan. It's no secret that Meghan Markle has ruffled some feathers over the years, which has certainly not gone over well with the royal family. If you look at the commercialization Meghan has embarked on, yes, she's done very well. She's absolutely up there now, almost with Beyonce. Certainly in her own mind. She's achieved that, no one's got a problem with that. But the reality is, she's made a lot of enemies out of people that just feel second to see Meghan as part of her new commercial brand, to be portraying herself as the victim when they themselves feel like they were treated unfairly. Mr Lowe's book posits the theory that Meghan wanted out of the royal family as soon as she realised the obligation to public service overruled everything, then wasted no time in building a victimhood narrative to smooth her passage home to America. That certainly has the ring of truth about it, in fact, it's the only speculation in this whole crazy mess that makes sense. And it is noticeable that instead of the usual flurry of aggrieved denials and threats from Harry and Meghan over these allegations, there's been nothing. No reaction, no comment, nada. The silence from Montecito has been deafening. I think the royal family would take a ticking time bomb because I think she's more like a minefield that keeps going off. If it's not one thing, it's another. It creates this sort of frenzy around Meghan because she's got a kind of lover or loather character Others might say she's just a divisive character, and we only have to look at her family. You know she doesn't speak to her father, and her sister seems to absolutely loathe her. I think that Meghan's a divisive person. Larkham said he feels desperately sorry for the former actress who married Prince Harry in 2018. Harry clearly never really wanted to admit to her what was actually going to be involved with the royal family. I covered William and Kate's relationship almost from the start, and for the first seven years of their relationship, if you rang the palace to ask something about Kate Middleton, they would say, we don't talk about her when she's a private individual. I think Meghan basically didn't ever get straight in her mind the difference between being on the red carpet as a celebrity and the red carpet as a royal, and she just didn't understand the incredibly important distinction, Larkham said. Going on to note that as a royal, you essentially represent the monarch, not yourself, and you're appearing out of a sense of duty. But she had years to adjust to the attention, and I think Meghan basically didn't ever get straight in her mind the difference between being on the red carpet as a celebrity and the red carpet as a royal, and she just didn't understand the incredibly important distinction. I don't know that she was guided, and I don't think the royal family really knew what they've got when Meghan showed up. Kinsey Schofield of the To Die For podcast said that Meghan is opting to appear in the right places as often as possible in order to drown out allegations that she bullied palace staff with goodwill. Meghan has always denied the allegations of bullying. Meghan has been using her many media appearances and opportunities to create a good image around herself, and one of the best ways to do this is to jump to good causes. However, despite being a famous face for these organisations, Kinsey feels her contributions to these campaigns are typically minimal, and implies she might not be getting involved with them entirely for the good of the cause. 